and my lovely kids. A really happy 75th Independence Day to you all. For many days, I was just thinking, okay, August 15 is coming, I have to give a speech, what message should I give to all? I was just keep on thinking and even I asked the English department also, okay, do the brainstorming and you know, write something. But even then I am not able to get convinced myself to give a speech to you, a written one, with the heavy words, which hardly anybody lives. But one thing is, this year, this 75th Independence Day is quite different. Yes or no? Yes. Can anybody tell me what way? Every year we celebrate Independence Day, isn't it? Okay, but this 75th is different. Can anybody tell me in what way? Anybody? Please? No one? Okay. See, first is, this is the 75th. Second thing is, our beloved Prime Minister Lendan Modi Ji. He has made a call to all the countrymen with the slogan, Har Har Tiranga. Okay. And instead of 15 August, he urged the people of the nation to celebrate in three days, 13, 14, 15. And I am very happy to say that that the way that all the countrymen have come forward to make his call successful, the way throughout the country we are seeing the people, their dedication towards the nation, the way they were showing their love towards the country is remarkable. But one thing is there I wanted to ask you today, is only 15 dollars we should show that we love our country? No, very good. So means, instead of giving some message to you, I just want that on this particular day, each one of us, when I am saying each one of us, I will start from director sir, my teachers, all the people and the students, I want we all should take some oath today, to do something for the country. And on next 15th August, we will see how much and what we have achieved. So are you ready for that? Yes. Okay, so first, I'll just make you recall something. Few days back, last month, in our school we have Sri Ramesh Ji came and he conducted one skit. Do you remember? Yes. Ayadima Amrit Mahasa? Yes. After the skit, he asked you people, and I remember grade 6, Okay, some students from the grade 6, they have given this message and you all agree that majority of you, you have no idea about our freedom struggle. Am I right? Yes. And that day you have promised Mr. Ramesh Ji that you are going to learn about our freedom struggle. But that day you have made the promise and you forgot. Today I wanted to ask each one of you I didn't understand, to know our past is very important. We just simply say the words that the freedom is given to us. Thousands and lakhs of Indians have sacrificed their life for the cause of the motherland. But do we have that feel? But do we feel their sacrifices? No. Number one. Number two thing is, we just say that it is expected from us to preserve that freedom. I will say that also you don't need. I don't need why? Because we have army who just taking care of our borders, taking care of the freedom of our country and I am 100% sure that the day will never come in our life when we have to rise to save our country. Our country people, army people, navy, air force, they are doing their duty with the dedication. Then what is your duty? What is my duty? We say we are proud Indians, but what our nation should say, whether our nation should be proud of us, this I want today from each one of you. So first thing what I want from you, the promise is that you have to promise today that sincerely we do are going to make an effort to know about our freedom struggle, to know about our he 
heroes of the freedom struggle. Unknown heroes who have sacrificed their life for the cause of motherland. Tell me, are you going to study history sincerely? Yes, because that is our identity. If we don't know about our history, what kind of Indians are we? So first thing I want, so just raise your hand with a sincere promise. How many of you, I want my teachers also to raise their hands because I have a surprise for you all. Tell me, how many of you from today onwards is going to make an effort that we will come to know the history of India and declare that we are proud Indians. Teachers, thank you all. I hope this is a sincere effort. Now I have a surprise for you. Just to see your sincerity, please put your hand down. In the month of November, in the month of November, we have social science week. That week, I am going to conduct a quiz on our freedom struggle, housewives, and in that quiz, housemaster is going to participate. Every housemaster, one teacher of the house, and then three students from that house. And I am going to conduct the quiz. So it's a challenge, you have made the promise. No, don't make a promise without sincerity. So this is the challenge I am giving you just to see your sincerity towards your nation. I remember the words of American President John F. Kennedy. In his address to the nation, he has announced, don't ask what your country can give you. Ask what you can give to your country. I want the same thing in my students, in my teachers, myself, everybody, all Sanskarians. Let us do something. Small, small act will make big difference in our nation. If you will study, your duty as a student is to study nicely because you are the future of the nation. So if you do your duty sincerely, you study nicely, 100% tomorrow the nation is going to develop. <coughs> Not only studies, you have to do small, small act which may bring change in the school, in the society and then in the nation. Be a change. This is my message to each one of you present here, not only the student or my teacher. I just wanted to show you few videos, only four videos. There are so many messages to be given. But today I want to show you four videos. After every video, I'm going to have an interaction. Let's see and work towards that. And that will be my message to you on August 15th. Let me see next August 15th how much we achieve in this area. Please. That's the importance of those. Is it visible to all? <coughs> sir, sir. Boy is there. He's doing some work selflessly and other people are watching and thinking he's a mad fellow, what he's going to get, what is he doing. Please see to that. Daily when he's going to his office, on the way, he just gives money. Whatever he has, from that he gives small amount to the girl. See, this thing is not going to make him neither rich nor poor, then why is he doing Father to be a Thank you. 
क्या मिला उसे जो मिला वो थी भावनाएं उसे अंदरूनी खुशी का अनुभव जीवन की गहराइयों को समझकर उसे प्यार को महसूस किया उसे वो मिला जो पैसों की कभी खरीदा नहीं जा सकता उसकी दुनिया और खूबसूरत हो गई सोचिए ऐसा क्या है जो अपने जीवन में आप सबसे ज्यादा चाहिए सबसे ज्यादा खुश करते हैं